<sighs> All right, everybody, welcome back. Today I got another artisan cutlery for you guys. Let's talk blades, everybody. That's what we are into. And so this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> the last knife that I did, the uh, the tacket didn't come with its uh, outer shell. This one, the Hyperion, came with it. This came from Blade HQ, so it's all brand new, brand spanking new in its entirety. The Amazon one, the Amazon purchase was only covered in plastic, so that was a little bit. But hey, I got everything, so it's fine. Just because it didn't have the box doesn't mean that it's not in good quality. It just probably got damaged during shipping or whatever. Anyways, so you got Artisan Cutlery High Quality Precision Crafted Knife. Let's pop the bad boy off this bad boy. Take it out of the steel tin. I don't know, you could put some spare parts in there or grandma's cookies or whatever the hell you want to put in there. And then it comes in this nice zip-up case just like the last one. Go ahead and rip this open here. Oh yeah, very nice. And yes, because this is a very expensive, well not very expensive, but it, because it's a more expensive knife, you got the microfiber cleaning cloth that says artisan cutlery on there. There you go really nice and useful I think I got a few of those which is great or one other one or two other ones I can't remember uh, specifications so you got the model number 1834G lock type frame lock blade steels S35VN this time blade hardness Rockwell 5860C HRC excuse me uh, handle material titanium structure ceramic ball bearing for the pivot and of course you got your artisan cutlery artisancutlery.net and of course you still got your same you know reading material your warranty and all that good and happy jargon if you guys want to read that that's just comes with every other freaking purchase that you get so with this and this and this I'm not gonna try and stuff it back in there because you know it's fine we can work with it here it is the Hyperion very pretty. Now this is the all blacked out version. There's a couple other versions. A few other versions, a few other colors. Uh, same material with the uh, with the titanium liners and bolsters. Uh, of course it differs from color, but the same material. And then you got the uh, carbon fiber inlay handles that are nice and smoothed out, but very nice. There's no really real texture to it. It's just more of an aesthetic appeal, and it really is. It's really nice. I don't know how many times i got to say that. <laughs> but of course, hardware is really cool looking, very sleek, very stylish. Alright, flipper tab, pop it open, and here it is. Now it's got a very, very, uh, I forgot the name. I mean, I know the name, but I can't think of it right now. Um, but it's basically, ah, oh man, I can't think of it. I don't know why it's not coming to me right now, but, uh, it's kind of like a buoy clip style, kind of iconic design. It starts with a B. <laughs> I can't remember. Ah, oh man, watch. When I'm laying in bed, it's going to hit me like a ton of bricks and I'm going to be so mad, but it's okay. I like doing these in one take, so whatever comes with a nice little stylish fuller on there. I don't think it's functional. I think it's more for aesthetics, but it looks and just very gives it a very attractive look. The handle is great. It's a nice big handle, nice four inch blade. At least that's what I'm told anyways, but we'll check it out together. Why not? And of course you get the designer's mark on there designed by David or designed by David, designed by D Rocket. So number 1834G. S35VN, and it says China. I don't know if that's it. I know it's not that bad, but a lot of people don't really care for much, you know. Oh, it's Chinese knife. Oh, what a piece of duke. Yeah, come on, guys. Some good stuff. A lot of good stuff come out of China. And, of course, you got the uh, artisan cutlery little symbol they got on there. It's really nice. I really dig this knife. I really do. I think it's a very nice knife. The pocket clip is all blacked out. Blacked out hardware. Um, of course, the Blade HQ, they have a few other designs. I think one's blue, one's another color, I think. 
I got a special edition bronze, but it's just like a, I don't know. Uh, I've only seen it a couple times. Uh, they got one that is silver bolsters, but it's all titanium. This one's just the all blacked out titanium, which I really like. Frame lock with an over travel stop on there, on that frame lock, which is that little screw right there with the little piece of metal that sticks out this way on the inside of the handle, keeping the knife, you know, from uh, doing its thing. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and get into the specs of this knife so you guys understand what you're getting when you purchase this if you decide to purchase it. Uh, another thing is that this knife comes around about a little over $200, so it's a little bit on the steep side, but it's really, it's well worth it, in my personal opinion. With a flipper a flipper tab that I don't really see myself flip, uh, slipping on because it's kind of got that hook thing going on, which is great, and it works really well. Really, really, really nice. Barlow, that's the name. That's the word, Barlow style knife. Ah, see, I knew it would come to me, <laughs> and it just did. It's, uh, it's, the style is coming after a Barlow style knife. Ha, I feel better now. <laughs> it's like letting out a sneeze, you know, you feel so much better afterwards. Go ahead and get it. Ooh, I did not mean to drop it like that. Oh, man. Felt something rattle in there. No, it's okay. It's fine. All right. I'll go ahead and bust out the scale so that way you guys know how much this thing weighs. Yes, it does have a little bit of weight to it, and it is a bit wide. So just expect that being when you put this in your pocket. It's going to take up a little bit of space. That's okay. Well, you're looking at a 4.82 ounces, right under 5 ounces. That's still rocking it pretty well, and I really do like it. <laughs> Rock it, you know. And we'll get into the length of this knife. Uh, blade length, 4 inches, maybe just a little bit over 4 inches, considering the reach. And you are looking at a, yeah, 9 inches overall on the handle. Well, 9 inches overall on the length blade with handle when it's closed yeah you're looking at five inches and of course we're gonna go ahead and get this on the width on this so it's a 1.5 on the blade and on the handle you're looking at a 10.3 so it is a bit wide But I do have to say, though, it is quite nice um, for what it is. Uh, when I see Barlow-styled knives, they're never this elegant to me. Uh, this is really nice. This was really, and it is really, really nice. So, <sighs> I almost wanted the one with the silver bolsters, but I went ahead and pulled the trigger on the black bolsters. Because they're just they're just really nice. I really do enjoy them, and uh, with it being like this, it just seems like a really elegant piece, and it works really well. So it's really nice. I don't think there's really anything bad I want to say about this knife, other than the fact that it's just a little bit wide this way, you know, from this. But I mean, it's not it's not a make it or break it. At least not to me, anyway. With the materials being used, they executed it very nicely. The uh, deployment's really smooth. This is not uncomfortable in any way. I've carried it in my pocket, and it carries pretty deep. Relatively deep in the pocket. So, just a little, very little of it sticks out of your pocket. Very little. Like, about that much, if not that much. So, it's pretty deep carry considering that it could be sticking out like this out of your pocket, which I would absolutely say that that would be a horrible thing. I just don't really understand the shape of this. I know it's trying to go with the contour of the handle, which is why it's doing that, but, I mean, it works. It's fine. You know, low profile, at least to me anyway. <sighs> yeah, another dressy dress knife. But I gotta say, I really do enjoy it. It's really attractive. 
And I really do like that. It's a very, very sturdy. It just feels very, very sturdy, and it completes my hand. You get a lot of real estate on the handle. It just feels good. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I really do. But anyways, that's the review on this knife. Um, if you guys are looking for something like this, Blade HQ still has plenty in stock. Uh, I just checked recently. Um, yeah, their artisan knives are... Man. Just tempting, tempting knives. But they're really, really doing it for me. They really are. And their knives come pretty dang sharp. I don't really have any paper to cut right now, otherwise I'd do it. I promise you guys that I'll get back to cutting paper. I just, uh, I don't know where I've placed it. I must have misplaced my paper, which is odd. I usually have cutting paper, you know, ready. That's a little bit weird, but don't worry. That's not something I'm excluding out of my, out of my channel. I really do enjoy cutting for you guys. I just, I don't know. Can't seem to find my paper. <laughs> it's weird. Anyways, that is the Hyperion. It just sounds so, uh, I don't know. To me, this looks kind of Western. Why I call it the Hyperion? It's not like this has got like a space kind of appeal. But I know that the designer has like that, you know. Oh, my last name's Rocket, so why not call it something? Uh, okay, yeah, I guess it makes sense. Anyways, love the knife. Really good stuff. So go ahead and slash that like button, stab that subscribe, slice that bell icon, so you guys are notified anytime I post new stuff. Show me some love when you can. And in these weird times, be kind, be safe, and carry responsibly. And I will see you guys in the next video. And just to let you guys know, I'm coming out with more stuff. I got a few more blades coming in and a couple coming from a friend. And I think one more coming from, uh, from a recent purchase, which I've been waiting for for a while now. I was waiting for a few months. Uh, I don't know why. They kept saying they were in stock, they were out of stock. Uh, and eventually they ended up getting it and now they're going to send it my way so I'm actually pretty excited about that and yes it is another artisan cutlery um telling you man they're really starting to get my attention and uh, I kind of feel sad because with all this being said I was really into cold steel and I really do want more cold steel on my channel if I have any more lying around that I haven't put in my channel I'm obviously going to post them but uh I don't think I'm ever going to do any more of their current stuff. Cold Steel has literally fallen off my charts of why I don't find them interesting anymore. Uh, simply because, I don't know, man, they've kind of failed to me. And I don't really want to get into it. That's a whole other discussion. If you guys want to hear more about it, go ahead and let me know in the comment section why I'm not choosing Cold Steel anymore. Um... But they're just not, uh, they're not what they used to be. They really, they're not. And uh, it disappoints me, you know, because that's what really started my collecting way, way back then. I want to say over a decade ago when I really started collecting my knives. The first knives to hit my collection were Cold Steel. And now it's just, it, it, uh, it saddens me knowing that I'm going to let them go. It's, um... A lot of it has to do with their quality, a lot of it has to do with, uh, you know, just, it's a whole other discussion. So um, if you guys want to hear about it, I'll be more than happy to talk about it. If you don't, that's no problem. That's just, you know, my own personal thing. So go ahead and let me know what you guys, in the comment section, let me know what your guys' favorite company, knife companies are. You know, share with me. If it's Benchmade, let me know. If it's Spyderco, I, li I love Spyderco, but, you know, <sighs> anyways. I'll see you guys in the next video.